To write the Lewis structure for Br2O, the first thing we need to do is count up the valence electrons. So bromine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A on the periodic table. Seven valence electrons, we have these two bromine atoms, plus oxygen is group 16, sometimes called 6A, so six there. We add that up, 14 plus six, 20 total valence electrons for the Br2O Lewis structure. We'll usually put the least electronegative element in the center. That would be bromine. But since we have two bromines and one oxygen, let's put the oxygen in the center, put the bromines on the outside, and then we'll check the formal charges on this Lewis structure when we're done. So we have 20 total valence electrons. We'll put a pair of electrons between the atoms, and that'll form our chemical bond. Then we'll go around and complete the octet on each of the bromine atoms. So far, we've used 16 valence electrons. Remember, we have 20. So next, we'll complete the octet on the oxygen. There's 18, 20, and we're done. So we've completed the octets. Each bromine has eight valence electrons. This oxygen in the center, it has eight valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for Br2O. If you check the formal charges, you would see this is the best Lewis structure. The formal charges for each element here they will be zero. So that makes this the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for Br2O. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, we see we have four things attached to this oxygen here. So we have a bromine here and a bromine here. There's two atoms and then two lone pairs. So four total things. Let's look that up. So we said we had four things attached. That's our steric number four and two of them were lone pairs. So if we go over here, we'll have a bent molecular geometry for Br2O. And the bond angle will be somewhere around 109.5. If you use the AXE notation to figure this out, you would say AXE, where A is the central atom, that's the oxygen. We have two atoms around it, the two bromines, and we said we had two lone pairs. We have AX2E2, and that again, that would give us this bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and molecular geometry for BR2O. Thanks for watching.